So let's look at this. Please. Find the one by the x in the following. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's start with number 1. Number 1, we have that 1 is equal to tan inverse of exponential x. Tan inverse of exponential x. How do you solve this kind of question? Um, here's like the usual hint. Um, here's like the usual hint. When a question looks bulky in quotes, when a question looks bulky in quotes, um, what should come to mind first is usually uh, what's called chain rule. Okay? The difference between this one, see, if y was equal to tan inverse of x, for this one here, it's obvious that for here, the y over the x is equal to 1 all over 1 plus x squared. I will have this. Difference between this one here and this is just simply what I have on the bracket. This one here was just x, but this one here is much like, um, it's more complex. This is more complex as being compared to x. So in this case, I will always say, let u rep represent the term in brackets. So how do you solve this? It's as easy as this. Let u be equal to what I have in my bracket, exponential x. So it becomes a chain rule question. I'm presenting u with respect to x. You see what there? The u over the x. If I differentiate exponential x, you get what there? Exponential x. So I have this. Next up, I will have that y is equal to tan inverse of this one here. That's exponential x. But we said exponential x should be put over there u. So it becomes tan inverse of u instead. I'll replace this one here with u. So this one is up here. Yeah? Replace it with u. When this was x, we said differentiate y with respect to x. You get the y dx. In this case, it's now u. To differentiate y with respect to u, gives you what there? The y over the u. That's equal to, for this one, what do you get there? 1 all over what there? 1 plus 1, yeah? u squared. Please mind you, not x squared. If it was x, that would be 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now it's u, becomes what there? 1 plus u squared. So I have this. Alright, from here, using chain rule, Using chain rule, I have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. To replace value, dy du is this man here. Yeah? That becomes 1 all over 1 plus u squared times du dx is this one here. Yeah? That gives you exponential x, right? The u dx is this, and then the y du is this, the u dx is this one here. Yeah. Alright. Why too fast? Why too fast? Alright. So at this point here, yeah, what next? Obviously, these two multiply. So this part goes to the numerator. Exponential x times 1, of course, gives you the same thing. Exponential x, all over what there? 1 plus u squared. You can't leave your answer in u. Put the value of u back into this equation. But, what's u? u is this exponential x. So it means that dy over dx is equal to exponential x all over 1 plus, we said u squared. u squared. This is u. So it becomes exponential x. That's u. All squared. So I have it. Question number is this. How do you expand this? What do you have? If I expand this, what do you get? So this now gives you exponential x all over. This gives you 1 plus. What do you get here? It becomes exponential. This 2 multiplied. x times 2. That's squared. So this becomes your answer. So having exponential x all over 1 plus exponential x works. That's how you solve it. Alright, that's like your answer. Let's get this done. So we said the idea is very simple. U 
Now hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up. We said u should be equal to the term in the bracket. So it's as simple as let u be equal to what I have there. That becomes lean x. Differentiate u with respect to x. I will get that the u over the x. If I differentiate the x, what do you get there? 1 all over x. Alright. So next up, I will now have that y is equal to cos inverse. That's cos inverse of lean x. What's lean x? U. Lean x is u. So it becomes cos inverse of u instead. Now differentiate y with respect to u. I will have that dy over the u is equal to what here? If I should cos inverse of u, what do you get there? Minus 1 all over square root of what there? 1 minus u squared. It's not always x squared. It's now with respect to u, so it becomes this one here, u squared. Alright. Using chain rule, Using chain rule, we said dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. In cubed values, dy du is, uh, where is it? This one here. That's minus 1 all over the square root of 1 minus u squared times du dx. du dx is this. That gives you what there? 1 all over x. This is the UDX. Multiply them. This is now equal to minus 1 times 1. Of course, that's minus 1. All over this times this. Of course, I'm having a square root and something there. Multiply this one. This one comes before your square root. So it simply becomes x into this. The square root of 1 minus u squared, that's all, okay? Minus 1 times 1, minus 1. This multiplies as the x comes before this one, that's all. Alright, replace u here, yeah? but we said u is equal to this lean x. Put this value here, yeah? that will now give you equal to minus 1 all over x into 1 minus, we said u is what there? Yeah? The x over x squared. This becomes the answer. Notice the way I write this stuff. Look at it. Notice the way I wrote this stuff here. I didn't say this is equal to minus 1 all over um, x square root of 1 minus. You now say what's u? Use in x. You now say lean x squared. This and this are not the same thing. Please notice it. For this one here, square is only affecting x. For this one here, squares are affecting, is affecting both of them there, lean and x. So it is not this one, it is this one. So put them in bracket and square it. Alright. The idea remains the same. Listen, the idea remains the same. Alright? So for this, we we'll say, let u be equal to the term in the bracket. That's what there. Eh? Exponential. 2x so all over what there? x squared plus 3. If you check there, what we call this u? And next that, what we find what there? the u dx. In this case, I'm having u as this. If I'm to find u at x here, which method is suitable here? Quotient. Which one here? Quotient rule. Why quotient rule? They are dividing. That was quotient rule here. So from here, I have that the u over the x using quotient rule. Now, first things first, pick this man outside. I'm having this as exponential 2x all over um, x squared plus 3. Of course, from quotient rule, this part becomes u and v. Yeah. This becomes what there? v. So, if u is equal to exponential 2x, question, what's the u over the x? No, 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 no. If u is equal to exponential 2x, what do you do x? I gave you a shortcut for exponential differentiation. What is shortcut? You said differentiate the part and attach the question. 
If I get 2x, if I differentiate 2x, this one there, so it becomes 2, and I add it to the equation because of that, so that's it. Alright, next up, V is now equal to this one here. Yeah? X squared. Question. Question. V is equal to this. Get the V over the X. What do we get here? 2X. Yeah? Of course, constant is zero is not. So what's your quotient reform like be? V, the u over the x minus u, the v over what? All over. Please use all of this. Bring your answer here. So it means that from this, using quotient to here, the u over the x is equal to quotient to says v. What's v here? x squared plus 3. So it becomes x squared plus 3. This is v. Next up, we said the u dx. What's the u dx there? 2 exponential 2x. So it becomes this into 2 exponential 2x. So v, the u dx, minus, next up I have u. What's u there? Exponential 2x. So it becomes minus u is exponential 2x into the v dx. What do we get there? 2x. So into 2x all over v squared. So all over, next up, v squared. What's v? This one here. Yeah? That gives you x squared plus 3 all squared. v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. Now, here's what to observe. Observe that in this case now, I now have to start saying using quotient rule. Let you do this. It's no longer necessary. At this point, now they are assuming you've already matched that quotient rule. So I didn't have to do this one here. So in case of my exam, you have to do this one here. No, you can do this one now at your rough section. No, you can just put this one here. So um, taking this off. You can't be copying everything now. I should have mastered this, right? Yes. V, the u, the x, minus u, the v, the x, all about v squared. I should have mastered this right now. Copy the uh, Question? Yes. Do you think that okay to make them cancel out? which of them? This and this. Huh? Yeah. Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, okay, I get it down. You get it down? Get it down? Yeah. Oh. Why did you ask me? <laughs> Why did you ask me? But anyways, look up. Look up. Yes, yeah, look up. Look up, look up, look up. AX plus B all over A. Using your normal mathematics idea. Please, these two can they cancel out from here? No. No. You can only cancel out them when that there is common between what there, everything here. You now factorize and cancel out. That's what that's happening here. You can't just cancel this one and this one here. Why? This term is not here, you can see. Just like A is not here, so you cannot cancel out. Same thing here. This term is here, no problem. But this term is not here. So you can't for and cancel. That's the idea. Alright. Um, wow. Wow. So how, how, do we do that? how do we deal with this? What do we do? Look at this. So I have that du over the x is equal to look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. So here's how to tackle this. Alright? Look up. Take this one first. That becomes 2. Number first. Next up. Take this one next up. That gives you x squared plus 3. Then bring out your exponential. Exponential 2x. Please. 2 out this one and then this one. That's all. Minus, so I have minus, same thing here, bring out the number first. So 2 out first, so it becomes 2. Next up, this one here, that's x. Next up, the exponential, that's exponential 2x. Um, usually, exponential is kept at last. Well, it doesn't really matter, so anyhow, but just get the concept. Um, this one comes out, then this one here. All over, please, this one here, don't expand, leave it that way. So it becomes 
x squared plus 3 all squared. So I have this. Alright, so here's my value for the UDX. Next up, I'll have that y is now equal to tan inverse. So I have tan inverse of this. This man here is what? U. So it becomes tan inverse of U. Okay. All of this we said is U. So it becomes tan inverse of U. If I shape Y with respect to U, I will have that dy over du is equal to, for tan inverse, what do you get there? 1 all over 1 plus u squared. I have this. So from here, using using what? Um, chain rule. Using chain rule, I will have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times the u over the x. Alright, bringing values, that's equal to, first things first, here's your dy and u value. And that's equal to 1 all over 1 plus u squared. This is dy over the u. So I have this. Multiplying next up. Okay, let me this one up. So here's dy over the u times, next up, the u over the x, which is all of this. So it gives you 2 into x squared plus 3 into exponential 2x. Next up, minus 2x into exponential 2x. This all over denominator, that's this one here. That gives you x squared plus 3 all squared. Alright? Dy over the u times d over the x. So match this together. Match them together, of course, because this times 1, which is itself, uh, copy that. Are we done here? Anybody see here? Nobody can play this. Alright, so 1 times this is itself, so that's now equal to um, 2 into x squared plus 3 into exponential 2x minus 2x exponential 2x. So 1 times this is itself all over, so it becomes all over this one here times this. Put this one in a bracket, please. Put this in a bracket, please. So it becomes 1 plus u squared multiplying this multiplying this that becomes x squared plus 3 uh, squared but what was u? please check and call you for me but what was, what was u again? exponential all over x squared plus 3 simply replace this value here yeah, that's all simply replace this value here yeah, that's all so this will now be equal to, watch this, this one here. So I'll just rewrite this one. That becomes 2 into x squared plus 3 into exponential 2x uh, minus 2x exponential 2x all over. Carefully replace this one here. So it becomes 1 plus, uh, this one is this, u is exponential 2x all over x squared plus 3 so this is value of u but we said u squared so here's u u squared means I'm squaring this all of this should now be in a square bracket this is now 1 plus u squared multiplying this one here x squared plus 3 all square. Question. Can this be simplified? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. How do you simplify this? How do you simplify this? Two exponential e. Just here e. 
Okay. That's you factorizing this one here. So how do we deal with this one here? Well, if you stop here, you're not wrong. But then, you shouldn't, should you? Should you? Alright, copy it down. Let me clean this one up. See, if you stop here, you're correct. It's okay. But let me continue. It's that video. Yes. Look at this. This will now give you equal to. This will now be 2 into x squared plus 3 into exponential 2x into minus 2x into exponential 2x all over, excuse me, all over having here as being 1 plus. Please check this one out, please. This one here is square is affecting both this and this. So it gives you exponential 4. This one you get here. That gives you 4x all over, for this one you get here, x squared plus 3 all squared. True? Yes. So this for this is this. This for this is this. So this one now, don't forget this one here, we said is multiplying x squared plus 3 all squared. So we have this. So how else can you simplify this? What happens here? Can this cancel out? Yes. Look at this. Hold on. Look at this. 1 plus b all over a squared. This times a squared. Can this look cancel out? No. 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 The same thing is what you're having there. Look at this. 1 plus something all over this squared multiplied. So this two cannot cancel out. What's the idea there? First of all, take what there? L squared. Such that these two will be on like oh god help me so what are we doing like this what are we doing like this all right make this one here they are common to the nature so what do i need now take what there lcm i mean what is the lcm of what and a squared and you see a squared so a squared over one gives you what there a squared times one a squared plus what b into what there a squared. So here's the idea. Here's the idea. If this is combining with one, look up the Here's what to do please. Take this one here as your common denominator, then bring this man here to the front. So it becomes a squared plus b all over a squared. A squared plus b all over a squared. So what's the idea here? This will now give you what there? x squared plus 3 all squared plus what there? This one all over itself. That's how it's done. So just now equal to, this gives you 2 into x squared plus 3 exponential 2x minus 2x exponential 2x all over. So look at this. I said this one will come to the front here. Yeah? So it gives you x squared plus 3 all squared plus this one here yeah? plus exponential 4x all over this one here yeah? x squared plus 3 all squared times this one here yeah? x squared plus 3 all squared it's now at this point that this one can now cancel this one so at this point you can now cancel so we move this one here yeah? Upwards, this plus like this. Now at this point, you can cancel. Final answer. Final answer. This was the one I said it was it was it was um, okay. So this is now equal to. What do I get here? Two into x squared plus three exponential two x minus. 2x exponential 2x all over and what you have there x squared plus 3 all squared plus exponential 4x you can now stop here of course this and this 
are wrong. So this becomes your final answer. Um, you can see choose two factorize. And that's equal to, I can see two exponential two x. I can see two exponential two x. So bring them outside. If I bring out two exponential two x from this one here, yeah, take out two, take out exponential two x. I've left the bottom t there. X squared plus three. So it becomes um, x squared plus three minus take out two. Take out exponential two x. I'm seeing x there. So minus x. You have this. Okay. All over this man here. X squared plus 3 squared plus exponential 4x. I don't think the linear factor is actually here. Like, stop here. This is quadratic. <laughs> this is quadratic. Yes. But it has two roots, Abby? Yes. No, yes, yes. <laughs> 